Hi, my name's Susan. I'm gonna take you step by step through an art project. Let's see what Plateau Art Studio has to do today. Well, hi, so today I've got a pumpkin project for you. So um, this is kind of fun. I used to do this in the classrooms with the kids. So um, we're gonna, you're gonna need your watercolors and maybe a couple crayons if you want uh, a leaf or um, some swirls, I'll show you that. But anyway, so this is what I traced out and it's on watercolor paper. And then what I did was I traced it with black glitter glue. Let it dry and then we're gonna watercolor them. So um, what I'm gonna do first is create some of the vines in green with my crayon and see how that looks and just a couple so they show up there we go <laughs> there okay so now I've got my little cute vines my little swirls and then maybe if I don't know maybe you want a few little grass pieces down here whatever your pumpkins are sitting in. If you want to draw a couple leaves or something, that's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you want a face on one of your pumpkins. That would be kind of fun. That's it's your project. You decide how much you want to do on it. Okay, so there's some little grasses and I kind of make like a, a W or a V. So when I kind of go up and down this way, that's how I make my my little grass there. So now my little pumpkins are sitting in the grass. Let's put a couple colors in. Just a couple. There we go. Just makes it a little more interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with our watercolors. Now we've done a couple projects of watercolor and you want it, you do want plenty of water and our watercolors are dry. And think about what color you want your pumpkins. I'm gonna do my big one in a kind of a orangey red. And I'm gonna test the color, that's too red. So you can test your color on the, on the lid of the your watercolors. Let's try this one, I think this one's the orangey red. Yeah, that's what I want. So I'm going to swirl around, get that paint going, because those are dry paints. Okay, get some more water. Try not to have too much water. You don't want big puddles. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's see what happens with that glitter glue. Now remember, you can add a little water if this starts to dry out. So if you get this, you need more water. <laughs> but if you get a puddle, then you can dry your brush and you can pick up some of that water with your dry brush and dab it on your towel. You can have a little, um, an old washcloth or a towel or a paper towel or something there. All works really well. All right, there we are. Okay, so now I'm going to mix colors. I'm going to wash my brush to get a new color. I'm going to try this kind of orangey color over here. <coughs> Whoops. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, oh, I like that. That's just a good orange. Oh, so you got a drop of water there. That's all right. I want to see those two colors mix. <laughs> and the glue should act a little like crayon, where it it uh, keeps your colors from running into your next pumpkin. I can see a little bit of the glitter. I th something new I tried. I've done, I've, I've done it where I've had um, black glue, but I haven't tried the glitter glue before. So let's. I'm gonna do 
this one, uh, let's see, I'm going to do the small one in bright orange, bright orange. <clears throat> and then the other one, I think I might do green. I've seen those green pumpkins out there, they're kind of pretty. Get some water. The more you swirl and you activate that paint, the more the stronger color you'll have. There we go, I like that. Now this one I'm going to do in a light green. I washed my brush before I got a new color. <laughs> Oops. Swirl and get that going. Let's see. Hmm. You know, I might even put a little tiny bit of blue in that. Just a little bit. That's too much. I just want a little bit. And I'll change the color of my green. Some of those pumpkins, they're not like green green, they're kind of a almost a grayish green that I've seen. So this should be a pretty simple project for you, I hope. like that. Okay, so now I'm going to get some yellow. So clean your brush. Let's see. If you drew a face, you might want to do it in crayon and then you can paint in the with yellow so it looks like it's um, has has light in your pumpkin. <laughs> I just want to mix in some, some color there. I like that. It makes it more interesting. Maybe a little more blue down here. There. Okay. Now let's see. Maybe. I'm going to go back and add water and color and spots just to make it go like to pop and make it look real pretty. Okay, so wash. Maybe a little yellow on this side. There. I like that. Okay. All right, so that's kind of, you know, utilizing your colors in different areas and then we can put in a little wash down below. I wash my brush. I'm just going to, I'm not going to paint this whole thing. I'm just going to leave it, put a little bit down below here. And the crayon will resist your, your um, the watercolor. There, so I've got a little green down below, and let's see, you know what, oh, I forgot, let's do brown, I washed my brush, I'm going to put just a little bit of brown in here, with a stem, and I'm going to get a tiny bit of green in this one, there, now I'm going to turn it over and do what I did with the green here, I'm going to do with blue. Okay, so this blue is a really strong color here, so I'm going to use just a little bit. If you get a lot of color, you can just use some water. 
to keep painting with and you can pull your color along. There, almost done. This is a kind of a quick project. <laughs> Just remember to pause at any time, because I do move along pretty quick, just for the tutorial. So pause any time you want to get caught up. That's fine. Ooh, that's turning out really pretty. I like all the colors. Now I've used just water to pull that color around, but I'm going to use some more here. Get a little more. And now I've got a lot of color on there, so I'm just going to use just water to paint with that color that's already there. And pull that around. some happy looking pumpkins. <laughs> I want more color over here so I'm going to put a little more, get some water so I can spread it around. There. Alright, we're done with that. Look at that. Nice. There we go. Boy, I love the colors in that. That's very happy. So there's your watercolor. Don't forget to clean your brush every time you switch your colors. And and if you get if you forget to clean your brush and you get color in like this here, then you can take your towel or a paper cloth or something and you can just make sure you see that. Just pick it up. You can get it just a tiny bit damp and it will come come clean. You can pick it right up. Boom, there, just like that. So if you happen to get another color in one of your little palettes, your little wells of color there, just use another little paper towel, get it a little wet, and pick up the other color. If you do it right away, you'll keep your, your palette nice and clean and your colors clean. So this I'm just going to rinse off and rinse my brushes and then I, if I take really good care of my art materials, they'll last me a long time. So thank you for joining me. Stay safe and I can't wait to see you next week. We'll have a new project. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me. Tune into Plateau Art Studio to see what great projects we have next time. See you next week. Bye-bye.